Over the past few years, there have been many allegations against James Charles, with eight people coming forward in ten other questionable moments up until this date. With allegations as recent as February 2021, James may be in more trouble than we think. Before I get into the story, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to James Charles, Isaiah, or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. In order to fully grasp why people are so upset with James Charles, we need to go back in time. The first accuser was a guy named Gage Gomez, also known as James's Coachella date. This took place in mid-April 2019, when Gage said he was bi-curious. However, after five months of chatting, Gage said he realized he was not interested in men. James did not take this well, and suggested Gage played with his feelings, used him for a free Coachella trip, and wanted to be seen with someone famous at Coachella. James was also frustrated at Gage for not coming to terms with his sexuality sooner, and accused Gage of not being bi-curious at all. Gage described James's behavior as manipulative when James did not get what he wanted. The second accuser was Tati Westbrook, also known as the beauty guru who temporarily ended James's career. This took place in early May after Tati uploaded her infamous Bye Sister Exposed video. Tati announced she no longer wanted to be associated with James and revealed several incidents she witnessed or heard where James behaved inappropriately around straight men. She said his behavior and jokes about straight men were disgusting and told him to get help and to stop. While her accusations were very serious, some people weren't sure about her motives because not too long before her exposed video, she was crying on her Instagram story after James promoted her competitor, Sugar Bear Hair. The third accusation was from Sam Cook, also known as the waiter in Seattle. Sam came forward in early May, shortly after Tati briefly mentioned his story in her video. Sam uploaded his own video and claimed James hit on him as he was waiting tables for Tati's birthday party in Seattle. Sam said he was bi curious at the time and slid into James's DMs. This led to them meeting up in a hotel room and making out for an hour. However, Sam quickly realized he wasn't interested in men and broke things off with James. James was frustrated because initially, Sam told him he was bisexual, but later switched his story and claimed he was bi-curious. James had a very firm response about Sam's behavior, claiming, You're not straight, no matter how many times you tell yourself. Later, Sam apologized to James and admitted he already knew he was completely straight, but pretended to enjoy his experience with James because he was too shy to turn down James due to his celebrity status. The fourth accuser was Jeffrey Starr. This took place in early May when Jeffrey called James a danger to society. Jeffrey revealed James was banned from his home, suggesting James allegedly did something horrible to Nathan Schwant, Jeffrey's boyfriend at the time. Jeffrey also said Tati's claims were true. At the time, Jeffrey was ready to spill everything about James, but he later backtracked and posted a video titled Never Doing This Again, explaining that a lot of things he knew about James were just rumors. After these four big accusations, other smaller instances where James hit on straight men began to resurface. Someone using Tinder claimed they saw James list himself as female on his Tinder account. The person theorized James may have been trying to show up on straight men's swipe list. Sebastian Javier, a musician, accused James of being overly flirty by being too touchy and calling him uncomfortable names. A video of James flirting with Sean Mendes also resurfaced, where Sean was juggling balls on Instagram Live and James commented, Can you juggle me like that? While Sean didn't mind James's behavior, other people were not pleased with it. A DM from February 2019 was shared by Instagram model Jay Alvarez, showing James calling him hot. Jay responded he's straight, and James stopped responding. A video from April 2019 resurfaced of James flirting with Jeff Wittick, a member of the Vlog Squad. James, clear this up first. Uh, Jeff is a straight man. Have you ever hooked up with a guy before? No. You should try it sometime. <laughs> no, I can't. While they seemed to be joking with each other, people were still not happy with James's behavior. 
A video from April 2019 resurfaced of James and Nikita Dragon admitting they both like straight men. We also have very similar taste in guys too. <laughs> Hot. Masculine. Straight. <laughs> In early May, someone accused James of catfishing his high school soccer team by pretending to be a girl. The person alleged James was trying to get intimate photos from them. In early July, James tweeted at Faye Sway complimenting his looks, but 10 minutes later deleted his tweet when he realized Sway was 16 years old. The fifth big accusation came from Ethan Andrew, a 14-year-old TikToker. He said he did not tell James his age, but argued it's publicly available on famous birthdays. Ethan said James sent him intimate photos at the time. However, it seems Ethan provided a different name on TikTok than famous birthdays, which may make it difficult to search for his profile. And James's accusations don't end here. We've been following the story and have even more reports to share with you. The sixth accusation comes from 16-year-old Isaiah. On February 26, Isaiah compiled Snapchat screenshots revealing his racy conversation with 21-year-old James. In one of the Snapchats, James asked Isaiah for private photos. In another Snapchat, James expressed interest in seeing Isaiah's body hair and flexed body. Isaiah received several booty photos from James. Isaiah also claimed James should have known his age as it was clearly displayed on his TikTok which was linked on his Instagram page. James immediately put out a statement revealing Isaiah initially claimed to be 18 years old and later admitted he was 16. When he heard this news, James said he apologized for flirting and stopped talking to Isaiah. However, Isaiah claimed James knew of his real age and still flirted with him. On February 27th, someone posted a Twitter thread in support of James Charles. They said they also interacted with Isaiah when he was 14, who allegedly lied about his age at the time. They said Isaiah lied about being 17 and sent intimate photos where he was drunk and high. The seventh accusation comes from Twitter user Life of Uzzy, who claimed to be 16 years old at the time of his incident. On February 27th, Uzzy revealed he reached out to him in 2019, right after his drama with Tati and Sam Cooke. This all happened during the whole Tati scandal. Um, I actually reached out to him because I felt bad for him. He said James was nice at first, but then became flirty and asked for intimate photos. Things started to get really weird because he started asking me for pics of this thing over here, and I was like, what the f do I do? Like, do I send it? Do I... I don't know what to do. I know a lot of you guys were saying, oh, like, you, sh you could have blocked him, blah, 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 but the thing is, like, when you're talking to somebody that you look up to, it's not as easy to do so. I did mention to him that I suffer from anxiety, uh, depression, and that I, I said I came out of a very toxic relationship. Um, he didn't seem to give a shit about that, and I feel like his biggest concern was how big my was. Anyways, after sending him a couple Snapchats, um, he started to question my confidence because I wouldn't send him a specific video that he wanted, which I find very, very disrespectful. Their interaction got heated at 4 a.m. I'm on video call with him, and I'm like, oh, why aren't you talking? And he goes, oh, I have to text, I can't talk, which is obviously very weird. I told him I heard my parents wake up, and he goes, oh, can't you go to the bathroom where your family can't walk in, lol. I literally said to him, I'm tired, I need to sleep. It's like 4 a.m., and I said that my parents are gonna wake up, I need to sleep, and he didn't care. Like, he just, he kept putting that under the rug. He's like, yo, go to the bathroom, do this, do that. And when I didn't do what he wanted, he wanted to give me a whole lot of attitude because I didn't want to do what he wanted. Like, do you not have respect? As he said, the situation made him anxious, and he felt James used him to get intimate pictures. The eighth accusation comes from a 17-year-old Twitter user. Also on February 27th, they shared DMs with James, stating their conversation never got sexual, but he found it weird that James still wanted to talk to him after learning he was 17. After these new accusations came out, an old video from July 2020 resurfaced of James describing his ideal man on the Impulsive podcast. James spoke about how young he likes his men. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like, I would date, like, the absolute youngest, like, 18, 19, that looks a little bit older, or, yeah. like, 24, 
that like has a young personality. Okay. James said he's 21, but described his mentality as being much older. That I have the mentality of a 40 year old. Yeah. James said a lot of the guys he's into are bi or are TikTok boys that can't pick up their life and move to LA right away or are not ready for a relationship. James also admitted he had a thing for straight guys, but he is now over it. However, he said straight guys will still try to hit on him and hook up with him, but are not willing to make things official. And like, sure, it's a fun hookup, like, never opposed, but like, that never turns into anything real because they're not comfortable enough with themselves to be with an actual guy. Another old video from May 2017 resurfaced of James talking about when he realized he was into men. When James was going through puberty at age 12, he would go on Omegly to get sexual gratification from older men. Every single time, it would always be a guy who was above age doing his business, and then when he would ask me to take my clothes off, I'd always be like, Oh, my camera's broken. James said he initially was on Omegly to meet famous bloggers, but quickly learned there were people on there who were there for inappropriate reasons. James said he got addicted to interacting with older men on Omegly during his teenage years, but urged his audience to not do what he did. Although this is a horrible idea, I did not break any laws, which is great, obviously, but once again, still, please do not do this, literally ever. Some people defended James when it came to Isaiah's story. Okay, but James ended it once he found out the guy's age. That's not pre behavior. He is an adult and the kid lied about his age. I don't think it's James's fault. That guy lied to James, spread James's private pics, and admitted it. James is not a group or a pre the one who's wrong is the guy. Innocent till proven guilty. All I've seen is screenshots of messages James responded back with. That isn't evidence he boys knowing they were underage. He says once he knew, he cut off contact. Seems like a poor misjudgment he made in not asking for proof of age and ID. However, some people said James was showing a pattern of behavior. Yeah, there's a serious pattern here and my stomach isn't handling it too well. A mistake is singular. He's made mistakes. More than one. This is a pattern. No, because why would you put yourself again in this situation and says, it's now clear? Others were still disappointed in James for not taking into consideration how young these boys look. It's disturbing that you even find these young boys attractive. Who in their right mind will even want to talk to someone who said he's 18 but looks 14? Like what? Some people commented on the celebrity fan dynamic. I am so tired of you being able to get away with this. You've abused your fame to solicit sex actions from fans multiple times. You know they're vulnerable to you because they're fans. And when they speak about it, you weaponize your following against them. One, he is seeking younger people and messaging them. Or two, he has not learned from past mistakes. Either way, there is an abuse of power here. Talking to a fan when you have a huge platform? People also commented on James's impulsive interview where he spoke about his ideal man. This is why James Charles hangs out with young influencers like Charlie and Dixie to hit on their friends. Referring to yourself as being as mature as a 40 year old and then specifically mentioning you prefer 18 to 19 year olds is so f creepy. The only difference between physically older males and physically younger males is that they look childlike. Honestly, boys do so much growing still at that point, so for him to be interested in the youngest stage that he can legally get is just f up on its own. I honestly think he's just a narcissist. Everyone he's ever been with is just a young looking boy with brown floppy hair which looks just like him, just more mask. One person brought up James's Omegly experience as a possible explanation of his current behavior. Being hypersexual at a young age can mess a person up, especially if they aren't told how wrong that is. I'm not saying this is an excuse for what he did, but it is an explanation. Now he's playing the role of one of those bloggers seeking out young kids who look up to him and asking them for Ew, he's honestly disgusting at this point. Despite the heavy backlash, James's friend Noah Beck still stood by him. How has Sister James been holding up with all the controversy? I uh, love James. James has continued to upload YouTube videos amidst all the backlash. In one of the videos, James collabed with multiple gamers who have not shared an opinion on his behavior. Furthermore, one of the gamers in the video was 16-year-old Tommy Init, a Minecraft YouTuber. They later exchanged tweets to which James told Tommy he loves Tommy's mom. Someone responded, didn't you tell that to underage kids? Others continued to bring up Tommy's age. Having Tommy in the video is just gross. He's 16 and we know James's history with underage boys. Even if it was for fun, it's still a bad look. How the f can you tweet at a 16 year old after what you did with the other one? James was also active on Twitter, promoting his new videos, talking to his fans, and reaching out to another YouTuber. People weren't happy with James's carefree behavior. Four tweets aren't going to make us forget that you grew 
the minor, James, and admitted to it. You treated it like it was literally nothing. Are we just gonna forget about what he did? I used to support him, but I don't know. This has happened one too many times to believe James over the victim. Do you not have any PR people? Ethan Klein specifically called out James's sponsor for one of his new videos. Does Chipotle know they are sponsoring a known on March 13th, James Charles's Morphe palettes were seen on sale at Ulta, alongside Nikita Dragons and Jaclyn Hill's palettes, all up to 50% off. Also on March 13th, James won a Kids' Choice Award, but people weren't happy about it. Congratulations to James Charles on his Kids' Choice Award. It's great because kids have always been his choice too. P.S. Nickelodeon, please keep an eye on him during the after party. James Charles admits to sending new to kids and wins Kids Choice Award two weeks later. Are you insane, Nickelodeon? This award is tone deaf at the least. I mean, the kids definitely chose him. On March 14th, things got even worse when James was seen following a fan after she defended James and continued victim blaming Isaiah, calling him a liar who probably knew what he was doing. On March 22nd, James was seen collaborating with the D'Amelio sisters, Noah Beck, and Nelia Devora. People were not happy that 21-year-old James was still hanging out with young teenagers after his allegations. For context, Charlie is only 16 years old. It seems James is no longer addressing the allegations. So, what's the big issue? Adults trying to have relationships with children, the dangers of lying about your age in relationships, and the complexity of celebrity and fan relationships. There are plenty of reasons why someone shouldn't lie about their age online, but it's especially dangerous for those who are underage. In a personal story sent to stopitnow.org, an 18-year-old who was looking for online roleplay partners met someone who pretended to be a legal adult. The young teen initiated sexual interactions. They later said they were 15 and finally admitted to actually being 12. The 12-year-old said they were also interacting with other adult partners. As you can see, things can get messy for a young teen getting caught up in their lies. If you know a young teen in a similar situation, stopitnow.org provides advice on how to help them stop their behavior. You might want to start this direct conversation by sharing with them that you all care about them. It is so okay to ask them some things directly to get a sense of what they're dealing with and what supports they have in real life. Some questions are, We're curious, where are you learning about all of this sexual stuff? Because it sounds really mature. Are you involved in a sexual relationship with someone in real life? Are they older or younger than you? How do you know them? Do you have supportive, safe adults around you that you trust in the real world? You may even want to talk about the importance of consent. It is always adults' responsibility to adhere to age of consent laws. If there are no supportive, safe adults in their offline life, you can provide these helplines for them to reach out to. Most parents are afraid of their children talking to strangers online. According to a consumer report study done by Minor Monitor in April 2012, 38% of minors who are on Facebook are under the age of 13, and 4% are under the age of 6. Facebook's chief privacy advisor, Mazel Thompson, said Facebook removes up to 20,000 people a day who are underage. The Advertising Standard Authority found that 83% of the 11 to 15 year olds who responded registered for social media accounts with a false age. Over 40% of those children claim to be over the age of 18, and one even claimed to be 88 years old. So, you can see where this can take a wrong turn. As we saw earlier, James said he prefers younger men, around 18 or 19. While these are at or above the legal age of consent, it is important to consider the brain is still developing at this age. Teenagers tend to make decisions in the moment without understanding long-term consequences. According to an article by the University of Rochester Medical Center, it doesn't no matter how smart teens are or how well they scored on the SAT or the ACT, good judgment isn't something they can excel in, at least not yet. The rational part of a teen's brain isn't fully developed and won't be until the age of 25 or so. In fact, recent research has found that adult and teen brains work differently. Adults think with the prefrontal cortex, the rational part. Teens process information with the amygdala, this is the emotional part. But what do you do when your romantic interest lies about their age? As James mentioned in his apology, post, he will now be asking for ID or a passport to check the validity of their age. This is a great idea that could help eliminate a lot of young boys who may be interested in dating someone older but not aware of the consequences. If you are someone young and thinking of lying about your age, John T. Floyd Law Firm shared a story of what can happen to you and your romantic interest. 
Zach ended up before Judge Wiley, who sentenced the first offender to 90 days in jail, five years of probation, and a lifetime on offender registries in both Michigan and Indiana. I'm sorry I didn't tell you my age, the underage girl said in a letter to the Anderson family. It kills me every day, knowing you are going through hell and I'm not. Going through hell puts it mildly. Being a registered sex offender, Zach cannot even live in his own home anymore because he has a 14-year-old brother there. His parents had to buy him a home behind their family print shop and hire him as a worker because he cannot get employment anywhere else. Sex offender registries do not provide details of the offense. The public is left assuming the worst. So you can see, it's important for both partners to take into consideration how serious the age of consent is in a relationship. As we can see with James's situation, it can be dangerous for young people to have relationships with people they look up to. Even if both people in the relationship are the same age or are both consenting adults, it's hard to determine consent when there is a power imbalance. Of course, celebrities and fans can have healthy relationships, but when one person looks up to a celebrity, that person may be willing to do things they may not be willing to do in normal circumstances in order to please the famous or more powerful person. The non-celebrity would also have to handle the constant attention their partner received from fans. According to relationship expert Andrea Sirtash, celebrities can successfully date ordinary people as long as they're both aware they will be publicly scrutinized and that their lives may be dictated by the celebrity's appearance and production schedule. It's easy for resentments to emerge unless expectations on both sides are clearly set. It's not unusual today for people to be in relationships with someone with a very different travel or work schedule. It can certainly work, but it takes a little more coordination and communication. It's not impossible to have a healthy romantic relationship with someone famous, but it's important to be secure in yourself and your relationship and to always have open communication. This isn't the first time a YouTuber has been involved in a situation with a young fan. YouTuber Austin Jones was caught asking his young fans for explicit photos. He released an apology, but things didn't end well for him. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison under CP charges. In January 2021, YouTuber Call Me Carson was accused of sending explicit messages to younger viewers, trying to get intimate photos from them. Ever since the accusation surfaced, Call Me Carson has stopped uploading and at the peak of the scandal, lost 200 170,000 subscribers. In January 2020, Syndicate, a popular Minecraft YouTuber, lost 50,000 subscribers after two women came forward with essay and misconduct allegations. After the allegations dropped, Syndicate's views dropped from 300,000 to 100,000. His views stayed low for a few months but slowly recovered. TikTok stars Tony and Andreas Lopez came under fire in January 2021. Both brothers were accused of getting intimate with young fans. The brothers stopped posting for two months, but have recently returned in early March. However, people have not forgotten about what they've done and continue to call the Lopez brothers and to this day. Say No to Rage was a popular Twitch streamer who had over 170,000 subscribers. He was banned in July 2020 from Twitch after multiple women claimed he made them uncomfortable when they met him in person. As of the release of this video, his account is still banned. Say No to Rage's case shows that not everyone can recover from allegations. So you can see, things can go wrong very quickly, and in many cases, people don't forget the wrong you've done. James's first accusations are still remembered to this day. He is still called a gr by people online. If James doesn't change his behavior, things may not end well for him. In most cases, creators will simply lose subscribers and take a hit to their reputation, but are still able to move forward with their career. But, if a victim is able to make a successful police report, the adult in question can be charged with a wobbler offense for possession of child in California, where James resides. According to Robert M. Helfend, an attorney in California, possession of intimate photos from children can result in one year in county jail and or a $1,000 fine and mandatory lifetime registration as a sex offender. This is a very messy situation, but many can agree James needs to be more cautious when engaging with younger boys online. While it would be nice to take everyone at their word, James needs to recognize his celebrity status and how fans can lie to get noticed. 
While this doesn't excuse the fans' behavior, James is the older person and has the most power. The responsibility rests more on his shoulders. At the end of the day, one exchange of intimate photos with a young teen can result in a lifetime of consequences. Aside from boys lying about their age, people are concerned with James's taste in young men. James said he will finally start asking for ID to ensure the boys are of age, but if they are both legal adults, they aren't doing anything wrong in the eyes of the law. What do you think about the situation? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. To keep up on all the tea, consider subscribing to the channel.